Find out what Binance just did with Ripple XRP. I will also share with you right here in this video the impact this will have on XRP and how much XRP will go up. Welcome to Crypto Live. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our upcoming videos about cryptocurrencies. Before we get to the topic, we'll see the chart below of how XRP was performing last October 13th at 1511 UTC, according to CoinMarketCap.com. The price of XRP is $1.10, and it is up by 1.31%, and it has a trading volume of about $31.61 billion over the past 24 hours. With a market capitalization of $51.59 billion, it was ranked 6th among cryptocurrencies. Further, XRP is in the green zone on its one-day chart, so it would seem the crypto market is poised to enter a new bullish phase soon. And the crypto market has been making massive gains recently. RippleCoin, however, is not experiencing similar growth. Also in this video, we will discuss when we believe that XRP will join in this crypto rally and where we believe it will go up. And I would also like to discuss some details with you in order to help you better understand how much XRP can gain once it is relisted on Binance. Numerous financial regulators globally have been paying close attention to Changpeng Zhao's crypto exchange, which is the biggest in the world, and some of these countries include Malta, Italy, the UK, and Hong Kong. Likewise, regulators in countries where Binance operates do not authorize it to operate. Binance also has announced intentions to discontinue its tokenized stock trading during the third week of July. With this announcement, it intends to completely eradicate tokenized stocks from its services. As cryptocurrency journalist Colin Wu reported in Hong Kong, this is true also as it relates to regulators in Germany, Italy, and China. In fact, the recent crypto ban in China has caused the crypto market to plummet last September, and she added that Binance is under a warning from China's top financial regulator because of a security breach. Despite the warning, Binance has continued to operate without authorization. Also, the crypto exchange services provided by Binance have not been approved by the FCA, and the warning was released on July 25th of this year. Further, it appears that this is Binance's second warning to the Japanese regulator. Moreover, in recent years, Binance has established itself as a major crypto exchange, offering services worldwide. Over the years, the company has maintained a strategy of aggressive expansion, offering services ranging from spot trading to derivatives trading to cryptocurrency mining to loan operations. During this period, regulators of Europe and the United States conducted investigations into the crypto exchanges and whether they accept stock tokens for trading or derivatives. But even with these challenges, the company continues to maintain its status as a compliant company in every way. Additionally, an investigation is being conducted by the U.S. Justice Department and the Internal Revenue Service, according to Bloomberg. Zhao did not provide specific information surrounding Binance cooperation with law enforcement agencies, and already this year, the company has assisted over 5,000 investigation requests worldwide, and by 2020, that number will have doubled. Furthermore, according to Zhao, Binance is driven by the idea of freedom and human inclusion, with the purpose of boosting society's prosperity. In addition, he said they humbly welcomed more talented individuals and experienced advisors for the sake of building the business better, and providing cryptocurrency is more than merely offering digital currency for trade and trading. Additionally, a company must also register any offer of raising funds under securities law due to the Securities Act of 1933. As a result, we are very confident Coinbase and Binance will resume trading XRP in the near future. In December, Ripple's initial lawsuit against the SEC caused it to come off of many crypto exchanges based in the United States. Further, Ripple's legal counsel then made several disclosures that turned the entire case around after two preliminary hearings in their favor. Despite the fact the SEC versus Ripple's litigation might soon come to an end, it is still unclear when this will be accomplished as the two sides continue their court case. Further, the Ripple legal team is not lax when it comes to focusing on the points that will be most beneficial to the company, and they have made numerous controversial observations that make SEC's actions seem hesitant. Also, it is now seized on the fact that the SEC has not demonstrated that a deliberative process was followed for itself to exercise the privilege of deliberation. 
Matthew Solomon, the lawyer for Brad Garlinghouse of the fintech company, filed a motion protesting the SEC's decision to impose a deliberative process privilege on approximately 37 documents. Since the SEC has continuously insisted that it is abundantly clear from the law that digital assets like XRP are securities, the motion argues that it was never stated that it was deliberating about the status of XRP. As Matthew Solomon's filing noted, the SEC has never acknowledged that it has begun the assessment process on whether or not digital assets could be regulated as securities. Rather, the entire case hinges on the SEC's claim that no policy process or policy making was or needs to be conducted since digital assets, such as XRP, are surely securities under the three-decade-old legal precedent. And despite the positive news for Ripple's defense, the filing raises concerns with the SEC. In addition to this, the SEC could have to turn over all the documents they were facing issues to release due to the failure of their complaint, according to Hogan, who has been following proceedings closely. And it has been reported by Hogan that the secret papers will also include a memorandum from the SEC's Division of Corporate Finance that contains an analysis of XRP and was written by SEC lawyers. Then, a day before Bill Hinman announced that Ether is not a security, the memo was written and distributed to SEC members. As a result, Ripple has also been ordered to turn over recordings of its meetings by the SEC. The recent SEC motions were developed as a series of motions coordinated for a specific purpose. Even though the case has shifted in Ripple's favor, neither side is interested in reaching a ceasefire. Even though observers have speculated and suggested it, the case has been closely followed by Charles Gasparino of Fox Business, who has uncovered that Ripple will not consider settlement entirely. As per Gasparino, the outcomes of the case will have extensive implications on cryptocurrency regulation. In the latest Blockchain Sleuths findings, 98.4 million XRP tokens have been transferred between digital exchanges and anonymous crypto wallet owners. Furthermore, six crypto transactions were carried out using its elective wallet, RL18-VN, to send millions of XRP coins to the Bitstamp exchange in Luxembourg. Interestingly, however, in January, the platform suspended XRP when the SEC announced that it was suing Ripple Labs, its CEO, and its co-founder. And regarding these six XRP transfers, Binance, the crypto exchange behemoth, has been most mentioned. The exchange moved 20 million XRP in two chunks to the GoPax platform, and XRP also received 15.8 million from the above-mentioned Bitstamp. The fundamental side of XRP definitely looks positive, so it's very probable that the price of XRP will follow the price of Bitcoin in the upcoming days. Although a judge refused to permit Ripple holders to join the case to protect Ripple Labs from the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit, the judge strongly hinted that Ripple would not be banned in the end, therefore scaring people who participated in cryptocurrencies is even more important for further crackdowns. For this reason, Ripple intends to stick around for a very long time. That is why XRP requires patience, but it's definitely worth it as a long-term investment. As the biggest blockchain exchange platform in the world, Binance still continues to trade XRP regardless of the lawsuit that has been filed against Ripple Labs, which simply means that Binance still has faith in XRP. Additionally, this shows an understanding of the potential of the cryptocurrency market. Furthermore, the Binance exchange offers a variety of XRP trading pairs to meet your requirements. Thus, due to Binance's continued trust in XRP, once the lawsuit is over, XRP has a high probability of going to $10 or even higher. That's all for this video about crypto, and thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates on the crypto market, make sure you click the subscribe and bell button.